Good morning, um, this is Julia Steinberger and the date is the 23rd of December in the morning, which means there are only two days of shopping left to Christmas and you might want to have ideas of what to get. So I participated in the Letters to the Earth, Appeal of Culture Declares, Rebellion, and um, I was selected as one of their letters in their book, Letters to the Earth, which you can get at any fine bookstore or even online and I'm going to read my letter. I also have to say I was really chuffed to be a co-author with um, Emma Thompson, Yoko Ona, and Mary Annes Heglar. So here we go. Uh, my letter is a little bit somber, but it picks up at the end. Dear life, I was not aware when I was born that I was born onto a battlefield. I was not aware as I learned to walk that I was stomping over the habitats of many creatures. I was not aware, as my mother drove me to school, that we were riding roughshod over the unmarked graves of our fellow humans. I was not aware, as we flew around the world, that I was attacking my child's chances. I was not taught, when I went to school, that we had all been drafted as unwilling and unwitting child soldiers into an army of destruction. I didn't read, in any of my university books, that my civilization of towering buildings zooming machines and feasting on the meat of other creatures was waging a bitter war against the promise of a possible future. But now, I know. I can see how we were fooled, tricked into believing that shiny sprawling suburbs and industrial zones and manure lagoons and mines and drilling rigs were our new habitat. I can see how we were blinded by fossil fuel barons and captains of industry into thinking that cars and planes could replace the earth under our feet, even the clean air that we breathe. I can see how a culture built on ownership and consumption was merely an excuse, a fig leaf for the rich and powerful to accumulate ever more profits and power, leaving destruction and destitution in their wake, and a forever blighted future. And I can see many others waking up to the reality we face of this desperate moment in time. I see their grief, their horror, their determination, their fragile hope as they realize they are not alone and that their actions and words still matter, will still make a difference. And I see them look around, searching for ways their energy and voice can be of use, resolutely joining in the struggle for a possible future. So now I know. I was born onto a battlefield, but in this battle I am not alone. With millions and millions of fellow humans, I am eating the call of a different destiny. A destiny not of consumption, not of burning the past and harming the future. A destiny built on action and activism, on collaboration and cooperation. A new civilization centered on preserving life. Every morning, I wake up from the nightmares of rising doom and harm. I am drawn to the work of the day by the beckoning of you all companions in this irresistible and immense task, by the lure of the struggle against the forces of fossil destruction, by the promise of this new future in whose service we are called, by life itself. <laughs>